Kessler Air Force Base in Biloxi, Mississippi is home to the 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron, more commonly known as the Hurricane Hunters. With Hurricane Irene threatening much of the eastern seaboard, including New England, the Hurricane Hunters have already conducted 28 flights into the storm so far, with many more planned in the upcoming days. These ultimate storm chasers were kind enough to allow us to tag along on their latest mission. The Hunters fly the latest version of the Lockheed C-130 cargo transport. The crew of the 130 consists of a pilot and co-pilot, navigator, backup pilot, weather officer, and two loadmasters. On this particular flight, we also had a researcher from the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration. Our 12-hour mission departed from Kessler and set a course to rendezvous with Irene, at the time of this report, off the coast of the Carolinas. Once there, the aircraft will fly directly into and through the storm, collecting atmospheric data via onboard sensors and probes dropped from the aircraft. We are now directly inside of Hurricane Irene. This aircraft will finish this pass and make four more just like it over the next several hours. The data this aircraft will collect will be vital to meteorologists and forecasts on the ground in helping them make their storm predictions. Data collected by the Hurricane Hunter planes can make hurricane landfall predictions up to 30% more accurate. With hurricane warnings costing as much as $600 million, this 30% increase in accuracy can make a big difference. For the ConnecticutTechJunkie.com, I'm Tony Lamb.